Dalton's been working really hard on the Texas cannabis roundup that he's putting together on the 17th of August. And uh, we, of course, profiled the, that event on our cover last issue that we had there in uh, June and, and uh, July. So I uh, just wanted to thought we'd bring in the, uh, old Dalton here and kind of let him tell us a little bit about what he's got cooking with the uh, upcoming event there at the Texas Cannabis Roundup. How you doing, Dalton? Hey, Russell. Happy to be back on. Uh, it's good times in Dallas. The Roundup's exactly two weeks away. Uh, everything's going pretty smooth, as smooth as it can a couple weeks before an event like this. And uh, we're ready to round up the community. Yeah, man, this is a lot of a lot of fun. I've caught you uh, promoting the event on uh, weed and whiskey here in recent weeks. I uh, ran into you guys at the expo a few weeks ago up in Dallas as well. But yeah, this is uh, crunch time for you. You're getting the last a couple of weeks here pushing in. You've got tickets for sale. I think we've got a link up on the website uh, for bringing that up for viewers. But tell us how folks can get tickets or still sponsor your event. Yeah, so, I mean, if you just go to the website, TexasCannabisRoundup.com, you click tickets in the top right-hand corner. It's through a company called Event High. They're really good national cannabis event ticketing software. So you do have to create a username and log in your email. Um, so that's, you know, one one way to get the tickets. We're really hoping people don't just show up trying to buy tickets at the door because I don't want people being stuck waiting. Uh, the main thing of the ticket is, one, to create a better, uh, you know, environment for all of the attendees, but also we're going to have some food there. And we're doing it per person, per food, the venue taking care of it. So I can't just give a bunch of food to people who don't, um, you know, have tickets and the wristbands and everything. So we're really working with the venue that works with us. It's one of the way we're taking care of them. And uh, yeah, if you want to sponsor, just holler at me. We're going more digital this year. We're going to have some exhibitors set up, but they have like 55 TV screens in this place. So we're really utilizing them mm -hmm. instead of loading a bunch of stuff in and out. We're playing commercials. We're going to have speakers. we got a little bit of a party planned and, yeah, just rounding up the folks. We are getting a new logo, Russell. That's in the works. It's funny, Russell <laughs> and I go back. When I was trying to get the cover, Russell said, uh, <laughs> said hey, you know, we got to get a better logo. I said, I'm working on it, Russell. So I've got a couple of people working on that, uh, giving a more rustic Texas theme. Cool. And yeah, I mean, it's 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 going. It's going. It's, it's not new. We've done it at, at this venue before, so there's a level of anxiety that's not there. But then also, we're always trying to make it better, so... And we're getting, we're at the Longhorn Ice House. This is the second annual, although it does feel kind of, for me and some of us, almost like the third annual, because I remember being at the Lucky Leaf Expo's mm -hmm. after party, which was there in 2020. Right. And then we all got together in 2020. Uh, well, maybe that was 21. And then in 22, we all got together last year uh, with, with you guys there. So um, are you still working with uh, Austin and the, uh, uh, and that group up there with uh, Austin Zamorari and and um, his nonprofit, I understand. Yes, yes, that so they're, they're our nonprofit partner. We're going to cut some type of check to them. I'm not sure how big or how small yet. We'll see. It depends on how many, how many tickets we can push in there. But we've been supporting them for a couple of years on their decriminalization efforts and sharing resources and sharing sponsors. Hey, these guys and this guy's looking for funders. And, you know, I know Austin's got a couple of announcements to make with new you know, I don't want to steal the sunshine, but new, maybe some new board members, maybe some new faces that he's going to announce. So the collective is really coming into its own type of thing. And again, they do direct action and not just at the Capitol, but in, in city, city place. Then our other uh, nonprofit partner that we've been pushing is the coalition, which you're super involved in, Russell's. They they're an event partner. They're helping us push the message. Mm -hmm. But Austin's organization is the one we're going to cut a check to. And, of course, Austin's organization is the Texas Cannabis Collective, and my former co-host, Je Jesse Williams, is a, was the, one of the senior editors there for Texas Cannabis Collective, based uh, in uh, the Dallas area right there. So uh, good work that Austin and his team do. You know, I make, I need to make sure that when we come up there and do our podcast, we're going to be recording uh, a show ourselves live from that event mm -hmm. and i don't know if we'll be live or we'll just record but either way we'll get we'll get a chance to speak with you there but i would love to have a speak a chance to speak with austin just to yeah. kind of get an update from him on what's going on with with his organization at the um uh, texas cannabis collective make sure to just get it scheduled out because you know the second it starts going and the non-alcoholic THC beverages start going around. You know, you, people get lost in the sauce. So, <laughs> anybody you well, you're right. I need to I need to get on the phone with everybody that's going to be there yeah. and and and, yeah. and actually get scheduled. That you're right. So it's not just yeah. last year we kind of just kind of flew by the seat of our pants. But um, you have speakers. Can you talk about any of the speakers that are going to be there yeah. and and yeah. Um, and just tell us a little bit about what you have lined up? 
Yeah, it's still evolving. So again, the events from like five to nine, but the speakers are really, it's kind of more of a show from 6.45 to eight, eight-ish, you know, hopefully we don't go over, but we'll see. And we got Austin from the collective and, and his crew. I think he's going to bring up uh, a Gramps and somebody else too during the time. So all we have more speakers that aren't even listed on the website at this point. We got a professor Richard Chang. We joke about, you know, he's a, a preeminent cannabis mergers and acquisitions attorney and teaches a class up there at UNT. We got J-Man from Wheaton Whiskey. Of course, Russell, he's going to do a little bit, a little bit for us. <laughs> Colt's going to represent Power Bio Farms. Kim's going to help uh, guest MC part of the deal, too. Uh, we got Aaron Owens from Teos Hemp. CeeLo yeah. the Hooker. Um, uh, you met him last year, right, Russell Smoking Fish? Yes, that's right. I, I, I'd like to hang out with him a little more. I yeah. didn't get a chance to talk to him, but he'd be one I'd love to interview he's, with this year. He's blown up like three times as much on the internet as last year's on Facebook, Instagram. I think he had like a million insights in the last 30 days. He's really blowing up. Uh, we got Dr. Rogier. I know uh, Dr. Askew's coming. I'm not sure if she's going to speak or if she's just going to be a special guest. We got Chelsea Spencer from Ritter Spencer. We got Clayton from AM, Jake from Drops of Life. Another one of our main sponsors, Jerry Grisafi from Indo Wellness. It's a uh, uh, online and and, dis and retail dispensary in Rowlett. So they're really good sponsors for us. And, you know, we'll see. You never know. I mean, I just talked to the candle joint folks. They'll probably come up and say something. They're going to do a candle giveaway for smoking fish. Might as well have them just say hi. So, you know, it's it's kind of just it's just gonna flow. We'll see. We might we might call somebody from the crowd and tell them to start talking. You never know. It's hey, I just realized I that you know your events on a Thursday. I have mm -hmm. a podcast that I'm scheduled to do an interview with uh, Sweet Sensi on that day. They're not going up there. Have you heard from them? Have you heard from Greg or Tracy if they're going coming up there at all? My main contact over there is Clay. I know he's invited. And I send him the deck and everything, but I know people have a lot going on. Um, you know, I, I bet Clay's there. They work well, in the Dallas They market. always send Clay to go on all of the yeah, trips and yeah. stuff. So everybody runs yeah. into Clay from right. Sweet Cincy. But yeah. you, I just but tell I him would, to push on the message. I'm like, Clay, push this message for me. Come on, man. Well, I just realized I've got uh, Tracy and Greg coming on to talk about the Hemp Harvest Festival that's nice. later in the fall, and nice. and I have them scheduled for that day, which is I'm going to be in your event that day. So we're right. going to have to figure that out with them, but maybe we'll get them to call in. But uh, well, what's the status of the industry, Russell? They're having more events. I mean, we, you remember two years ago when there's like no events happening, and now they're stacked on top of each other. So yeah, well, really things kind of get going uh, with your event uh, from. From the fiscal calendar, we, the expo was new last yeah. uh, two weeks ago. That was mm -hmm. a new event that we're starting to see coming in the summer. But uh, a lot of these really get going here in the fall. And yeah. I think things kind of get started with uh, the roundup with you every August. And then we start seeing, you know, the September, October, November, and the December events for this uh, community uh, start to start to come happening later in the year, but uh, always looking forward to these because every we we get a chance to intermingle and talk with the with the 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 folks in this space here in Texas, and a lot of us know each other. And then you know, for those of us that haven't met, I haven't met Doctor Askew yet. Love to speak with right. her. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of us that we know each of each other, and it's just a great time to get together yeah. with everybody, isn't it? Oh, a hundred percent. That's what we like to do. I mean, we can take it super serious. We can talk about policy. Like we had one bonehead last year, get on Instagram and say, why are y'all drinking? You got really important people there and y'all aren't taking it seriously. It's like, come on, man. Like we're just here hanging out. We're advancing business with each other. We're building relationships. Like that's what we're working on. And uh, there's not a, a lot of these different events to go around to. So we just like to have a good time, bring people together. It is super serious, but at the same time, it's just you're trying to do business with these folks and you got to know them and you got to see the new trends. Like THCA is going to be a really hot topic right now because I mean, I know a lot of growers personally in Texas that are switching over to THCA. It's one of those things too, when you're at your house or your farm, you're not certain. Uh, but then you go hang out with your peers. It's like, wait, you're seeing that. I'm seeing that kind of validates your opinion or those on some breaks. Hey, I'm not doing that. Hey, I think that's a bad idea, but we love kicking it off. Russell, I joke all the time. We don't like to, to compete for people's time that aggressively. That's why it'll be on a Wednesday or a Thursday or in August. You know, uh, the fall time is hard. Saturdays are hard. Russell, I know I see you smoking, <laughs> I see you smoking meats on Saturday on the internet. You know? Yes, you have. You're thinking, That's oh, right. it's 5 a.m. I'm smoking a meat. Do I really want to drive somewhere and to see, to see the folks? But it's good, and then things are ramping up, and it's really important for uh, – the above board market here in Texas to have a good lines of communication with each other. There's been mm -hmm. a, some underground stuff that just happened in Houston, which a lot of these folks are totally unaware about, which I, 
I'm not in the underground thing. I pay attention to it. I respect the Liberty market, but it's one of those things. It's, it's day and night. And it's really important for all the operators that are conducting themselves in a long-term way to well, uh, kind of work together. Well, I've got to jump. That's all the time I've got for this segment. I got to go to commercial break, but Dalton fire off the website, tell folks how they can come up there and see you. It's at the Longhorn ice house, August mm -hmm. 17th, it's the Thursday, a couple Thursdays from now, uh, any, Website, give uh, fire that off for folks so they can get tickets and learn more about Texas, your event. TexasCannabisRoundup.com, y'all. Check the tickets. There's a link. You know, please don't buy your tickets last minute, but if you do, you might sit there for a minute. We'll see. Use the code GLE for a discount. <laughs> All right. Good stuff from our, friend, from our friend Dalton over there at Thanks, Greenlight bro. Events. Thanks, Aaron, for, thanks for your time, buddy. We'll see you here in a few weeks. All right. That's Dalton checking in with the Texas Cannabis Roundup coming up in a few weeks. I'm Russell. We'll come back. We're going to talk with David Sergi and Jay McGuire on some legal precedent and some cases that are going on throughout the state. And, and, and we'll continue this conversation as we move on here at the Texas Hemp Show. is ESPN 127 Austin. We'll be right back. And we could fly Because we all have wings But so